Good day folks, this is Greg Judy at Green Pastures Farm. Today we've got uh, my dozer operator, Johnny. <clears throat> he's in here scraping off an area. He's got the uh, black dirt already pushed loose from this site. It's sitting on the very back, back by those trees. And so he's got two piles, one on each side, that's the topsoil. And uh, he'll use that to dress up the, the dam once he gets it up. Uh, right now he's pushing up a uh, good old-fashioned yellow clay, which we're very fortunate. Uh, you know, a lot of people don't really care too much for clay, but it does make a good pond. Uh, somebody asked the other day about bentonite. We use bentonite to seal them. Uh, most of the times, you know, out here if you get a good seal on that dam, uh, you don't need to you don't need bentonite to, you know to hold water now there are areas of the country where you have a lot of rock and sand you know I guess that could be an issue but uh, we don't usually have that much of an issue here so uh, he's he's working the dam up there and in the very middle there he'll cut a V in that here in a little bit and uh, I'll put my uh, I'm gonna put my water pipe in there. Cause we're gonna we're gonna put a uh, we're gonna put a, a pipe through the center of that dam, and then the uh, stock tank uh, and the valve and everything is gonna be on the back side. Well, I'll show you where we're gonna put it. Um, the dam, you know, he's going back up there, so he's making his dam out of that clay that he's digging out to build the the dam out of and at the same time he takes off it's going to take him a while to get this dam up i would say this is going to be one of our bigger ponds that we built this fall um you're probably looking at uh i don't know maybe a day in here maybe a day and a half he he, he he started on it last friday this is monday it took him pretty much a half a day or, mo or more just to clear the brush off of here. There's more trees here than what we thought. But uh, you can see that dozer's doing a number. Um, I guess what I want to cover on the dozer is if you're going to get a dozer in, make sure you get a big enough one to do the job. If you get a little bitty dozer, you're not going to be able to move much dirt or clay. It's going to take you forever to push that dam up. And they may not be charging you much per hour. Let's say, you know, a smaller dozer is going to run you whatever, whatever the, that price is. If you get a bigger dozer, it's got more power, a wider blade, it can push a lot of dirt. He's going to make less trips up and down that pond to build your dam. And so, yeah, this is what Johnny does. He's good at his trade. There's no way I could sit on that thing all day. I wouldn't be able to move the next day when I climbed off of that. Cause you can see, he, he's a big man. He's a stout man. He's, he's built up really stout. Um, he actually, one of his hobbies is lifting weights, of all things. Extreme weights. I'm talking body harness type weights. He's lifted, oh, it's just unbelievable. I think 3,000 pounds. All you gotta do is get a piece of paper underneath the weight, and that's called the lift. And for his age, uh, he set several, several uh, U.S. records. But he he lists with an old professional here in Columbia has for years. Man, if I tried that, I'd break my back into it. Johnny's Johnny's got technique; he knows how to do it. But uh, that surely helps him being a stout man running that dozer. Anyway, he's building the dam up. He's sprinkling some clay on there. He's tracking it in. And so down here in the very bottom, we're gonna ha I'm gonna get down here. I'm tripping all over. So right here, going out towards the dam, uh, he's gonna cut a V in there. And we're gonna lay my two inch schedule 40 pipe in the middle of that dam, or middle of that pond, all the way through 
back here. The pipe's going to come out here. He's going to have all this covered up. And then he's going he's gonna to push this area off right back here. And my pad, the pad for the dam is actually back here behind the dam. So we're going to have, I don't know, 20 foot, 20, 20 by 20 pad back here. And uh, the pipe, of course, is coming through the dam. It's going to feed over here to our tire tank. But he's got a little work here yet to do. Uh, there's a wild cherry. It's not much good. Uh, matter of fact, I think uh, it's still alive. The, the roots have been cut on it pretty good. We're going to take that out just to give us a nice square area back here to put our tire tank in. So this will be uh, no pump, no pressure tank, just good old gravity flow water coming through that dam. And this, this pond's got some pretty good watershed. If you look up through that valley where his truck is parked, um, it's going to cover one, two, two and a half to three acres of water is coming into this pond. And I'd say the pond's going to be probably a half acre maybe when it's filled up. Not even that, probably a third of an acre. I don't want a lot of surface area. I just told Johnny, when you leave here, I want her deep. I want her deep. Because you're going to lose a lot more water to evaporation than you ever will with livestock drinking out of it. So the deeper it is, and the steeper the sides of your pond, the less evaporation you have in a drought and in the summertime when it's hot. Because that's when you lose it. So if you have a pond, let's say three or four foot deep, and it covers half an acre or an acre, you're gonna lose 70 to 80% of that water in a drought through evaporation. It's a terrible thing to watch your pond just drop lower and lower and lower and lower pretty soon, you're out. Still have forage, but you don't have any water. You don't have any water. So we didn't have any water on this side of the farm other than I do have some pressurized water up there. Uh, I can see where pressurized city water is going, county water, whatever you want to call it. It is getting more uh, pricey. And, uh, you know, things are going up. It costs more to uh, run the, the water department, people's wages, you know, going up, whatever. Uh, it just, it's going to come down to folks who are not going to be able to use that water for livestock. It hasn't happened yet, but I can see it happening. So protect yourself. If you're in an area where you can do it, I know some states you can't build ponds. Uh, but if you're in a state where you can, get you some water out there. Uh, you know, worst case scenario, if you just built one pond for your whole farm and you put a, a pipe in it with a little pressure tank and a pump in a pump house, you could pump water on your whole farm out of that one pond. And that's water that you're catching now in the sky, folks. It's free water. There's not a bill at the end of the month telling them that, you know, you owe them $150 for your livestock watering bill. Came out of the sky. You caught it. It landed on your land, and you, you've got a pool of it here, and you can pump out of that. So, yeah. I think it's pretty cool. Well, we have been blessed. Uh, I just uh, was talking to a fellow... Uh, down south, uh, my Rolla, they're burned up. They just haven't had any rain. And he came up here and saw our pasture, and he's like, oh, my goodness. You know, he just about died to have pasture that looked like this. So, you know, we, we are fortunate. We've been getting some rains. Uh, just one of those years, you know. It was our turn, I guess, because we sure have had some dry weather in the past this year. Uh, this was grazed uh, about four weeks ago. It's already regrown. Look at that. I mean, those blades of grass already have tips on them. See that? Completely grown out to tips. Clover's grown back. Yeah, we've got a few weeds. All those seeds on those weeds, that just feeds the birds. I don't worry about that. Gotta have something for your birds. Can't just have all 
all grass. You need a few weeds out there. But uh, I've got my pipe ready to go over there. I didn't want to put it in until the boys get back. They're over there setting up the water for tonight's move on the cattle mob. That's one of the deals on being an intern here. I'm not going to go put that water in on the pond until they're here. Because I want them to see exactly how I do it. So that when they go on to their next uh, uh, employment opportunity, you know, who knows? They may, they may need to build a pond and they need to know how to do that. So... I think Johnny's kind of getting things dressed up back there for the pipe and I'm gonna have him cut a V in there in a minute and uh, we're gonna get the what we're gonna do folks is we're gonna put a valve back there I've got a I've got a two inch a schedule 80 PVC pipe and it's gonna have a collar around it it's an eight inch collar and we're gonna put a cap on it and that is gonna control the tire tank Okay, so we're going to have the tire tank um, being fed from this pond. So with that, uh, I think I'm going to sign out of here. Oh, I got to show you, got to show you the logs we got. Uh, John, Johnny pushed over this this thorny honey locust. He's like, "Great, that thing's got thorns on it." I'm like, Johnny, I want it. I want that log. This is gonna make some beautiful milling on our on our, on our uh, sawmill. Oh, look at this one. This is a cedar. Uh, this one made about an 18-foot log. Look at that. You talk about some beautiful red lumber. And it's long. I mean, look at that. Our mill will cut a 20-footer, so I can saw that whole log, 18-foot logs. This is the one he had the hardest time getting out. And this is a white oak. He didn't think he was ever going to get that one out. So I'm probably going to end up cutting it about right here because he boogered it up. But I can cut that off. And I can get, you know, I'll get some lumber out of that tree. I'm not going to push it in the draw. Um, yeah, here it is. So this one's uh, eight and a half feet long. It's a nice saw log. Look at that. It's beautiful. I can't wait to saw that. It's going to make some pretty, pretty lumber. That's honey locusts. Honey locusts, thorns, look at the thorns on that thing. Do you know what? If you saw that up, you're not gonna know there was ever any thorns on it. So I'm kinda anxious to see what that's gonna look like once we get that milled. Anyway, I'm gonna sign off here. I wanna get the boys down here. We're gonna get this water line put in and uh, we're gonna see y'all down the road. Hit that subscribe button on the way out for you new viewers and uh, that like button, I'd appreciate it, and uh, you all have a great day.